the steel lane of gas. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We're ready for MLB The Show's Game of the Week. The Atlanta Braves and the Chicago Cubs. Hi, folks. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so... We should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go down. And now here's the starter for the Cubs, Jamison Tyon. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Oh, so much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your dugout. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Michael Harris. Rip towards third. Throws to first. One out in the top of the first. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Chris, the tools for Acuna, the one thing that jumps out for me, power and power to all fields. I love his right center field pop, and we saw him in the All-Star game a few years ago. He looked like a left-handed hitter hitting home runs that direction. Horner over to first. Out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. Austin Riley at the plate now as he chases after that one. On the ground to short. Toss to Mancini. And that is the third out of the inning. Another look here at the solo shot leading off the ball game. And the home team down to run. Back after this on the show. Back here at Wrigley Field, and on the mound today, Spencer Strider. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep into games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Going to count one and two. It's a good take. One, two. In the dirt. Darnell throws to first in time. One gone bottom half of the first. Ian Happ up to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Strider, when you talk about his skill set, he stops teams from getting hits. That's the thing that he's so good at. He's just really difficult to get base hits against. Swing and a miss. And it's two and one. Well, he's got power, and he has a reputation of being a strike thrower. So, to his advantage, he can expand the zone. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. He can throw that fastball slightly above the top of the strike zone to get hitters to chase. He can also break it off because when you're geared up for good velocity, it's hard to stay back. You have to make a decision really early. Here's Nico Horner. And that's in there for strike one. So what's the approach from an offensive perspective oh. against a guy that doesn't give up a lot of hits? I think you just kind of have to lean out over the plate and, you know, take your base. But seriously, you, you just have to try to shorten up. I think guys choking up on the bat a little bit to have some more bat control, be a little bit quicker, and don't get greedy. Bounce to the left side. And it gets by him. The throw into second. In there safely. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. Oh, one. Man at second. 
the strategy of winning a ball game when you can make that pitcher work a little more expose himself by throwing pitches that could be the key to winning perhaps later on so good job of extending this inning getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four holder up next pitch misses inside ball two tried to check his swing there appeal to third no swing Eric Summers go with the call here comes a 3-2 swings through that and it's a strikeout and that is the inning. second inning set to go Matt Olson up to the plate the right hander back to work that's down and in when you think about the best defensive first ball, baseman in the strike. game Olson is certainly in the conversation he's won multiple gold gloves over there and it seems like he picks everything one of those guys that the infielders love because he makes that third baseman shortstop and second baseman even better saving those errors swing and a high fly ball pretty well struck right field that's back there into the bleachers and gone his 31st home run of the season and they add a run it's two nothing he absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer and you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat he's that confident what I love about this swing is he stayed tall allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball letting that bat head get down through the ball to create backspin and hit it out of the ballpark really nice job Here's Marcelo Zuna. Three for seven in the series so far. Well struck right field. That's back there. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Popped up. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. And next is the designated hitter, Vaughn Grissom. And first offering is fouled off. Late swing fouled off. Two outs. And ball one. Count. Two balls, two, two strikes two. to count with two outs. The wide to kick the pitch. Smash to the left side. Corner jumps, throws, third out. One more for Atlanta on the homer. And it's two zip. Here at Wrigley Field, bottom of the second. Here's the veteran first baseman, Trey Mancini. Strike one. His family owns Mancini Peppers, and you know, they produce up to 50,000 pounds of peppers a day. They got roasted peppers, fried, blanched, sweet. Hot, tangy. Am I making you hungry over there? Very hungry. Well, the Mancini family has been farming in Florida since the 1940s. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff that from the jump. Here. I mean, there's just no the messing pitch. around right now. It's still really? very early. But we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Next one is off the plate. Now 2-0. Two two up. Swing and a miss. Well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. Triple digits on that last pitch. 
back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Ball and one now. Yeah. That one missed. Oh, oh. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And a nice inning of work there as he's. And welcome back. Now it's the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. With the right hater back to work. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. Arcia, 28 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Up the middle, now the throw to first on the run, and one away in the top of the third. So the batting order turns over. Ozzie Albies, next up for the Braves. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, and one. Yeah, but kind of hard to believe, but Ozzie Albies, first second baseman in Braves history to win a silver slugger. And he's won multiple silver sluggers now. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And that one is off the wall. And he's got a double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. One down. Michael Harris now at the plate. Now he breaks his bat. Not in time. He's safe. Not every base hit is a liner into the gap, just like not every strikeout's a perfect slider down and away. I mean, right there, he just put the ball in play on the ground and gave it his all to get down to first for the knock. Here's Acuna now. That one hammered center field. Davis going back, back some more. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. And that should get the job done as he tags from third. He'll score the sack fly. It's three zip. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Riley at the plate now. That's ball one. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Ripped to short. They take the force out. That's out number three. As we go to the last of the third. Now it's the right fielder, Kevin Alcantara. That's the ball. First offering misses the mark. Alcantara measures six feet, six inches. Well struck left field. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. His second of the year. And they cut into the deficit. It's 3-1. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And here is Nelson Velasquez. That's the ball. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Yeah. Flips the corner. One ball, one strike. Oh, he just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. What? Velasquez started after it. Tried to hold up. Now a look to first. And Joe McDonald says he went around. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Back to the top of the lineup. Now at the plate, Nick Madrigal. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Strike on the inside corner. That's off the mark. It's a ball and two strikes. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. Two outs, bases empty. Ian Happ, the next cup to hit. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Just no, that missed. missed. That's the ball. And 
and it is two and one. Line drive, short hop to third. Throw to first, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Cubby's edge closer on this long ball. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Three innings in the book on MLB The Show's Game of the Week. Back here at the friendly confines, here is Matt Olson. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's hard hit on the line. And that one gets down. Fair ball. And the leadoff man aboard. Marcelo Zuna, the next to hit. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Flied out to the warning track. First offering no, misses it. the mark. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. That one two not one. close. Now two balls and a strike. That to right. Alcantara calls it in, and there's one away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Travis Darno, 0 for 1 with a fly out. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. These guys have come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, that can be a route to doing it. The 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Olsen, the runner at first, with one gone in the inning. Ground ball right side could be two. Fires to second for one on a Mancini. Two. Back here at the ballpark, bottom four. Here's the shortstop at the play. Nico Horner, and a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Chris, it's always interesting to me to see a guy like Nico Horner, who wasn't drafted out of high school and then out of Stanford was a first-round pick. That's some serious growth as a player. Next oh, pitch is inside, and it's 2-1. and one. Yeah, especially with today, guys playing so much baseball all year round, you get scouted and you get opportunities to be looked at way more than it was when I was growing up or you were growing up. So for him to not get drafted out of high school and then to be playing at this level, pretty impressive. Very frustrating right there as a speedy ball, potential no base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team one one. just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. The other way. Slings to first, and that quickly two away. Mancini batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Ground ball right side. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Inning over. And the pitch. Ripped on a line. Davis hauls it in, and there's one away. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Here's Orlando Arcia. Ball one, no strikes. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over oh. there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. One down, base is empty. Misses with the 2-0, oh. and he's fired three Rito. straight outside the strike zone. There's the strike, three and one. Three one. Good plate appearance there. 
able to take the walk. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Albies in the box again, takes a strike. Next offering is foul back. Singy, this guy, Ozzie Albies, he is Mr. Personality. So much flair and that giant smile on the field. The pitch. In the dirt, blocked. Well done behind the dish. Arcia leads off first with one away. Belton fires. Foul tip into the mix. Struck him out. Here's a speed threat. Michael Harris. Let's go, Bobby. Let's go, Bobby. And he swings and Come misses on, at the initial offering. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Oh, and two as he waves at oh, that two. one. The pitch. That one 95 to finish him off. Brave strand. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the Cubs catcher, Luis Torrens. Nope. First pitch ball. just misses. You know, wow. these Cubs just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike mm -hmm. zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Now at 10 Ks with still yeah. a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total, and you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Kevin Alcantara, the next cup to hit. A little bit low. One ball, no strike. Going, Runner going, on the goal. Strike in there. Throw, save. One out and a runner at second. Swings and misses. One, ball, two, One and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Throw on to Olsen. Got him. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Velasquez ball, stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Hit hard on the ground is short. Arcia whips it to first. That is the inning. Top six. Now it's the power speed combo. Ronald Acuna Jr. Going one. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. And fouled off. Oh, I love the fact that he has a lot of fun playing the game and that rookie year an OPS of 917 just paving the way for what we think will be a Hall of Fame finish to his career. In the dirt Torrens down to first gets him one away on a drop third strike. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could him. handle. That's about as textbook as it gets. Man, got his stride and load oh, out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Swing and a miss. Oh, and That's right. strike one. Right, 
in the dirt and an excellent job keeping it right there Riley the base runner at first with one out that one hit to right Alcantara gets under it squeezes it and there's two down lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there especially with pitches that they see pretty well that was a good example he hooked an outside pitch hit that ball in the air to right just not with much authority Ozuna in the box here lets that one go for a ball Here's a 1-1. Bounced out to short. They get the force, and the inning is over. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the Cubs' leadoff man, Nick Madrigal. That's in there, and that's strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Ground ball to the right side. And foul ball. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch. And when he was in his prime, you would see. One and two. A lot of guys out in front, right handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Olsen takes it to the bag, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Good now offside run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through. It just pours in on the hands. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. No just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. Nico Horner digs in now. In there and it's 0-1. 0-1. Next one off the plate inside. And now it's even 1-1. One now fly ball to right center. Acuna brings it in with a nice running grab. Edwin Rios here. And a foul ball. Rios in his fourth year, 28 years old. He's usually a third baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is that. I think the key. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Adbert Alzala. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. And here he comes. Darno, the leadoff batter, as he swings through it for strike one. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Ground ball left side and it goes just foul. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, that's a blue zone right there or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job that's of the, the pitcher ball. executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Movement in the Cubs bullpen. Brad Boxberger up and throwing. The 1-0. Swing and a miss, strike one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. The pitch. 
And now the count filled up three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And first offering is fouled off. Grissom over at first with one away. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Tag. And they got him. Man, I see him trying to be aggressive right there late in this ball game. Trying to add on to that lead. You know, I really like the thought, but it just didn't work out that time. Nice job by the defense right there to keep things right where they are in terms of the score. And the righty deals. Off the outside edge. And now the count is... Two and two. The pitch. Popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Set for the last half of the... Seven. Trey Mancini now. Now on the bump, Jesse Chavez. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here's a 1 1. And that's outside. Oh, 2 2 now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Righty delivers. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Out to short, Arcia. Tosses to first. And yeah, the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Good onside run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Torrens in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. Nope, Next pitch outside. is outside. Ball. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Liner, base hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Davis stands in now, looks at that one inside. Swang and a miss, and it's one and one. Swings through that. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, you rarely ever see three curveballs in a row because that's one of those pitches that's most effective when you haven't seen it recently. You might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that curveball and figured he could finish with that pitch. That clips the zone, and it's two and one. They say it went. Got him. That's the inning. One hit, one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Braves three and the Cubs one. Michael Rucker taking over on the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Albies, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Next pitch is outside. Okay, that's ball one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there, and boy, umpire did give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. One and two now. Got him swinging. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it.
Acuna now at the plate as he swings through strike one. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Brings it in for the third out. here at Wrigley Field. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Nelson Velasquez. New pitcher for the Braves, Nick Anderson. 32nd appearance. Swing and a bouncer. Grabs it barehanded. Over to first. One up, one down. Couple of pitches and a quick out. Here's Nick Madrigal. In for a strike. 0-1. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. Next pitch has popped up. Makes the grab for the second out. And now it's switch hitting third baseman in half. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Good eye right there. Next pitch misses. And now 3-0. Anderson ready to work. And that's through there for a strike. And a swing and a miss there. That one the other way. Arcia. Throw to first is in time. And that is. The Here comes a new arm for the Cubs. Brad Boxberger. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And a foul ball. Boxberger measures 5 feet 10 inches. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Comes up empty on the swing, only two now. I think he was a little excited there, saw the fastball, but needed a step ladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have a good at bat. In the air, right field. Alcantara on his way in. Nice grab on the run. And there's one down. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Michael Fulmer, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. And that one in the air, center field. Davis drifts towards it. Calls it in, and there's two away. Two outs, space is empty. Now the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Late that time, and it's strike two. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So they go three, four, five due up for the home team. So up now for Chicago, Nico Horner. So they bring on the veteran, Rysel Iglesias. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at-bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. And it drops in. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in. Fires across the diamond. One out, bottom of the ninth. And the batter now, Trey Mancini. That one's in there, 0 and 1. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes yeah. the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Runner at second here, one gone. Swings and misses, struck him out. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you've got to protect the zone, and then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. That's in there, and it's one and one. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but 
That's where he functions best. The next offering misses. Two and one. Tying run at the plate. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Two-run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Diving, and he can't make the play. The throw in, save. He scores, and it's a one-run game. And now they trail by one. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. And next for the Cubs, Brennan Davis. In there for strike one. Go with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. One and one. The one one. Just missed. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Three and one. Tying run at first. The winning run at the plate. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. On the ground, right side. On the first, ball game. And the Braves strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got yourself a little bit of breathing room, but you want to keep the same mindset. Let's go into the next place, and let's take that series again. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.